I'm Kevin Coleman, Weber's grilling expert. I know we all love to grill on our Weber grills, but more importantly, we need to make sure that we clean and maintain them throughout the year. Now if your grill is dirty like this, don't worry, you're not alone, there's a lot of us out there. But remember, we're here to help. We're going to show you the supplies you're going to need and some great tips in order to get your grill back to pristine condition. Now let's talk about the supplies. You're going to need your cleaning gloves, a grill brush, warm soapy water and sponge, a non-lintary cloth, a mild glass cleaner, a mild stainless steel cleaner, paper towels, a scouring pad, and a paint scraper. Now let's focus on the outside of the grill. Make sure the lid is cool, wash grill exterior with warm soapy water, rinse, and wipe dry. For stainless steel parts, you may use a mild stainless steel cleaner. Wipe with a non-lint cloth and use a side-to-side -side motion with the grain, then buff. Now that we've cleaned the exterior of the grill, let's clean the inside of the lid. Now for some of you, you might notice some peeling going on. Don't worry, it isn't paint. What you are noticing is a deposit of grease and smoke that collects during normal use. These carbon deposits are non-toxic, but you should remove the buildup on a regular basis. Brush the carbonized grease from the inside of the lid using a stainless steel grill brush. Wash with warm soapy water, then rinse. And for some of you, you might notice some discoloration. We're going to use warm soapy water and a sponge with a non lit terry cloth to remove any of that excess residue. We've shown you how easy it is to clean the inside of your lid. Now we're going to concentrate on our flavorizer bars and cooking grates. Brush the bars or grates with a stainless steel grill brush. Then wipe clean with a rag and warm soapy water. Now we're going to take them out of the inside of our grill and focus on cleaning our burner tubes. While the grill is cool, take the cooking grates and flavorizer bars out of the grill. You will need to clean each burner tube individually. Take your grill brush and proceed to clean the ports in an up and down motion. Do not brush lengthwise across the ports, as this will only push debris from one hole to another. If you have a new Genesis grill and the control knobs are located in the front, you will go left to right. If you have a Spirit or an older Genesis model and the controls are on the right side, you will clean in an up and down motion. We've shown you how to clean your burner tubes, now we're going to focus on the rest of the inside of our grill. Now for some of you, you might have heat deflectors inside there and you're going to follow the same procedure as cleaning your flavorizer bars. Look inside the cook box for any big pockets of grease accumulation or food particles. Use a putty knife or flat straight edge object to scrape the excess grease into the bottom tray from the inside of the cook box. Remove the bottom tray from under your grill and place it carefully in a trash can. Scrape the inside of the tray with a putty knife. Clean the tray with warm soapy water and a fine steel wool pad. Remove and dispose of the dirty aluminum drip pan. Watch the catch pan with warm soapy water and rinse. Replace the drip pan with a new one. Change the aluminum catch pan liner frequently. Make sure that you never line the bottom tray with any type of foil. When cleaning your warming racks and grilling basket, always use warm soapy water and a fine scouring pad. Just make sure that you're careful so you don't scratch the surface. And always rinse and dry thoroughly. We all love our Weber grills, but let's love to clean and maintain them. It's going to help with the longevity and the performance of our barbecue grills. Now one thing I'll leave you with is when you are doing a cleaning, Take an inventory of your grill, just in case you need any replacement parts, and those are a simple phone call away to our customer service at 1-800-446-1071. And if you have any other questions, refer to your owner's manual or find us here on Weber.com. And always, happy grilling. <music>